So I'm in the third episode at the moment, and I figured out this game is fairly similar to Monster Hunter. So you go into a mission, and you fight a monster, almost like a hunt. And yeah, they're called other things. I forgot their name, because I'm doing this ad lib. But yeah, so fairly interesting. Different take on it, different button style. And it's kind of fun, because I don't actually know what the monster is about to do. But I feel like they've got a lot to them, considering they seem to be based more on mythological animals than actual animals. So maybe we'll see some cool stuff. Who knows? Anyway, we're going to roll intro. Hello, welcome back to our Let's Play of Guardian. We're here at Seattle, and we're doing some missions. Um, and I get started. Toilet stopped. Okay. Um, there's no urgent missions. To go down further? That's weird. Let's see something I'm doing wrong. May I need to talk to someone? Take a look. This is, no, this is just where I live. And... Um... Oh, there we go. Um... Okay. So, what am I supposed to be doing? Laboratory? Is it an infirmary? I mean, of course there is. I've been everywhere. What is this? And they managed to do a quest again. Interesting. <sighs> All right. Guess we're doing this. I did the tutorial, so it should go a bit easier this time. And I've got a bigger sword. Not compensating, I swear. Hey, what's up? I assume you're the new star rookie everyone's been going on about. I'm Eric. That's right. Eric I already don't like you. I suggest you do your best to emulate me. I've been out defending humankind for a while, and I think I know. Eric, look out! Whoa. Hope he dies. Wait, what? Well, there you go. Welcome to this godforsaken place. I'm Selma. Don't waste your time remembering. Neither of us will be here long. I hate being the guy to break it to you, but death is not so rare out here. So he's actually dead. Surprised? Afraid? Well, what did you think it was going to be? Forget it. The time for mourning has come and gone. We've got a mission. Let's go. He introduced himself There's and died. Alive. Never give a breath of quarter and stay the hell away from me. I'm already next to you. What more do you want from me? Of their lines. Fall back beyond the range of the beat and take them one at a time. 
Oh crap. these as I go along. Can I do jumping attacks? Yes, I can. Chinese herb. Uh, if I had a run, could have had that. Maybe you still can. Too good. Oh. <laughs> okay. Definitely two. Okay. attack certain parts of the body. Today we'll be looking at advanced God Eater tactics and awareness. This could save your life out in the field. Mid-sized and larger origami are often made of sterner stuff. They have armor of different thickness about their bodies. By watching for their response immediately following an attack, you can tell if you're striking an effective area. There are four possible responses from a god arc attack. This shows them ordered from weakest to strongest. Be sure to watch for these replies when you strike origami. Always focus your attacks where they are most effective. I've prepared a Vajra simulation target. Go ahead and begin combat. Try to discover where all responses land. Green. That's a small. Still green. Critical in the face.
Vajra tails yeah. are exceedingly weak, while their capes will deflect almost any attack thrown at them. Striking against those points is almost useless. It's always better to shift position and adjust your specific target. Now, an origami's armor can change as well. Anything from activation to bond breaks can affect its strength. Interesting. With this particular training target, a bond break will weaken the defense of its head and forelegs. Do note, however, that sometimes shattering an origami bond will create armor elsewhere. Observation is key here. Also bear what? in mind that different weapons are more or less effective against various body parts. Another preferred method is to attack with elemental powers. When you find an enemy weak to blaze, freeze, spark, or divine attacks, you can exploit these breaks to bring them down. Once again, you'll know for certain if an element is effective by watching for the origami's response. Now, using everything you've learned today, slay this target. Are they starting? They're moving? Nope. Oh, you can do jumping attacks, that's right. Kind of wish it would apply back, but okay, it, it doesn't. The attacks with this are quicker than the Monster Hunter ones, which is useful, but kind of annoying. Oh, that's how you target things. you can get your hands on. Take advantage of these weaknesses. Striking with increased force and efficiency will change your battles to the core. The very heart of this is simple. When you're in the field, trust in your natural style of combat. Experiment and learn. That is all for My today. natural style of Thank combat is hit things till it dies. Dismissed, God Eater. So, guess what we're gonna be doing? Hitting things till they die. Mail. Oh. oh. I've got two of these now. Can I sell stuff then? Nope, now I just had two of them. Are you really using it? No. Let's see if we can cross some stuff. Hmm. Okay, we upgraded that. Don't even know what these are. So 
Sweet. Okay, it's upgraded. We should be good. Um, we going to talk to someone again. Kota. Who's Kota? Kota's in the rookie section. Oh yeah. Feel confident. All right. Veteran section, 15 minutes in. No good. I don't really know if it's important to know about their backstory. I'm guessing it's not. I'm saying they're dead. Three ogre tails and another thing. Actually, not enough. I don't like that I'm used to the weapon crafting system, but it should be okay. I'm glad we made it this far. At the end of the day, he's gonna die, isn't he? In this line of work, I think I've got to be extra careful. I don't know what my mom and sister would do if I. Well, never mind. Oh, hey, um, on the down low, do you know Sakuya? Yeah. Are you close? Isn't she just smoking hot? Uh. She's hot, but kind and sweet and hot. She's like a freaking Amazon warrior maiden. Damn, she's so fine. Even just thinking about her has got me all hyped for another mission. How about a little contest? Let's see which of us takes down the most origami. Oh, she'll be okay. all over me then. Yeah. Um. I think he needs an adult. I'm trying to catch the most. Then why would you help me? Just whisper all over again. <laughs> okay, game. I had this Fred that's like a freaking spider demigod thing. The hell is this? If I lane them right off would be helpful if they leave me an item. They say every time they kill something, aren't they?
Interestingly enough, I kind of like this weapon more than the other blade. I don't like that I run out of stamina so quickly though. Must be an upgrade to that. target even though that wasn't in the tutorial. Doesn't help me that it wasn't in the tutorial though. Like there is weak point, but it's pretty hard when he's moving a lot. The origami is retreating. Where are you going? Hey, hey! Alpha one, you're in the final seconds of first. Tear through him. Um. This Galway thing. Interestingly enough, this doesn't feel too hard, but it might be. Activating. I think she's playing. That's lucky.
There's a lot of stuff. Let's begin with a concept. Arcology. In essence, a building completely self-contained. But that's not all. Self-sufficient as well. Both in production and consumption therein. Of course, the best example is here. The Fenrir Far East branch, with the den at its core, is um. arcology. In any situation, no matter how extreme, we could survive alone, even should all the remaining Fenrir structures collapse. Our status as an arcology would ensure that we could live on just as before. Still what? eat, work, and fight, all based on our own production. Beneath the den is a fully equipped plant that produces food, god arcs, and any needed material for the people of the branch. Atop all that, we are supremely defended. Uh, the Aragami wall lines the perimeter, and we boast the strongest God Eaters squadrons. That, in a nutshell, is the Far East, a powerful and complex arcology optimized solely for the protection of humankind. Unfortunately, we are still plagued by a number of issues. Foremost among them is that we simply cannot house all our citizens. Uh... I am certain you've seen the vast outer ghetto, a collection of ramshackle housing that lies just beyond the core of the branch. We would love to have those people inside, but the fact is, we simply don't have the room to accommodate. <laughs> I'm afraid that the best we can do now is surround that ghetto with a larger anti-aragami wall. Options are limited. I don't know if that's enough. The armor's been breached a whole lot lately. Never bad, but still. Um, Which is precisely why we have the defense unit stationed there, our strongest shield. Oh, goodness me, you were born in the outer ghetto, weren't you, Coda? My apologies, I did not mean to dismiss your fear so lightly. <laughs> oh, no, it's not a problem. Actually, there was a plan to expand the interior of the den. We were going to build another layer down for new residents. But it never came through. The Aegis project picked up, and that's supposed to make us all much safer anyways. Well, yes, exactly. At this time, a massive majority of Far East resources and the underground plants are being dedicated to helping construct the Aegis. That's a lot of stuff. But I think that should be a topic for another time. It sure should. <laughs> yes. Data has been saved, and with that, that's the end of our Let's Play episode. And we'll see you next week when we take on more monsters. <laughs>